the latest news on the China spy balloon, it's basically actually a, uh, an airship with a satellite, satellite wings. Um, U.S. shoots down the airship over the Atlantic. This is the news that came in nine hours ago. The U.S. has shot down the giant Chinese spy balloon uh, that it says has been spying on key military sites across America. Now, a lot of people are wondering why they took so many days to shoot it down. It made its way from Montana all the way out into, into the Atlantic over uh, the Carolinas. Why didn't they get rid of it immediately? The Department of Defense confirms its fighter jets brought down the balloon over U.S. territorial waters in the Atlantic. China's foreign ministry later expressed strong dissatisfaction, and they protested against the U.S. use of force to attack civilian unmanned aircraft. Well, hello. What did they expect? And, you know, there's another one over South America. There was a few days ago another one over, um, what was it, Iran, I think. So uh, they thought it was a UFO, but it could be, and it, that was flying low. It could be just, you know, that China has all these um, aircraft, these spy balloons all over the place. And China has the goal to say, we don't like it that you shot down our, our uh, spy aircraft. It is <laughs> flying over your country. What does that mean? That any other, any foreign country would come, or adversary, could claim that they have the right to fly over the United States and especially various uh, military bases? Footage on US TV network showed the balloon falling from uh, falling to the sea after a small explosion, an F-22 jet fighter engaged the high-altitude balloon with one missile. And the defense officials told U.S. media the debris landed in 47 foot of uh, water, shallower than they had expected, near Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. The military now trying to recover the debris, which is spread over seven miles. Two naval ships, including one with a heavy crane, for recovery are in the area so it's not that light it's basically a, you know a balloon shaped aircraft now in a pentagon statement a senior u.s defense official said that while we took all necessary steps to protect against the prc china surveillance balloons collection of sensitive information the surveillance balloon overflight of u.s territory was of intelligence value to us we were able to study the scrutiny and scrutinize the balloon and its equipment, which has been valuable, the official said. U.S. President Biden had been under pressure to shoot it down since defense officials first announced they were tracking it on Thursday. Afterwards, Biden said they successfully took it down, and I want to compliment our aviators who did it. In a statement a few hours later, the Chinese foreign ministry said, the Chinese side has repeatedly informed the U.S. side after verification that the airship is for civil civilian use and entered the U.S. due to, a for, to force majeure. It was completely an accident. Well, excuse me, who believes them? I mean, <laughs> who believes them? I don't believe them. Now, the discovery of the balloon set off a diplomatic crisis with the U.S. Security Secretary of State, Anthony Blinken, immediately calling off his, uh, his uh, planned trip that which was supposed to take uh, this weekend to China over the irresponsible act by the Chinese. The Chinese authorities have denied it is a spying craft and instead said it was a weather ship blown astray. Re reacting to the incident, Taiwan's foreign ministry said in a statement, the Chinese Communist Party government actions that violate international law and violate the airspace and sovereignty of another country should not be tolerated in a civilized international community, and I agree with them. China considers self-ruled Taiwan a breakaway province, as we know, that will eventually be under China's control. President Xi Jinping has not ruled out the possible use of force to achieve that with Taiwan. But Taiwan sees itself as independent with its own constitution and democratically elected leaders. President Biden first approved the plan to down the balloon on Wednesday, but the Pentagon said it had decided to wait until the object was over water so as not to put people on the ground at undue, undue risk. Groundwork for the operation was laid 
when the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration, FAA, briefly paused all civilian flights at three airports around South Carolina coast on Saturday afternoon because of national security effort. The Coast Guard also advised manners to leave the area due to military operations that uh, present a significant hazard, they said. An eyewitness on the coast, Haley Walsh, told BBC News she saw three fighter jets circling before the missile was fired. Then, she said, we heard a huge boom and the house shook. One senior military official told CNN the recovery debris should be fairly easy and could take a relatively short time. The official said that capable Navy divers would be deployed to assist in the operation. Defense officials also revealed Saturday the balloon had first entered U.S. airspace on the 28th of January near the Aleutian Islands. But excuse me. So it went all the way from the Aleutian Islands over Alaska, over Canada, and all the way across Western United States into Montana. So it crossed all of the United States, the continent of the United States. Before moving to Canada airspace three days later from the Aleutians, re-entering U.S. January 31st, the object was spotted in the U.S. state of Montana, which is home to a number of sensitive nuclear missile sites. Relations between China and the U.S. have been exacerbated by this incident, with the Pentagon calling it an unacceptable violation of U.S. sovereignty. No kidding. Blinken, America's top diplomat, told Beijing it was an irresponsible act ahead of his now-canceled trip, which was to take place today and tomorrow, February 5th and 6th. It would have been the first such high-level U.S.-China meeting there in years. However, China sought to play down the cancellation of his visit, saying in the statement Saturday that neither side had formally announced a plan for the trip. China's foreign ministry said Beijing would not accept any groundless conjecture or hype and accused some politicians and media in the United States of using the incidents as a pretext to attack and, and smear China. No kidding! This is ridiculous! I can't believe China! I just can't believe China! What gall! What gall! Now, on Friday, the Pentagon said a second Chinese spy balloon had been spotted, this time over Latin America, with reported sightings over Costa Rica and Venezuela. Columbia Air Force says an identified object believed to be a balloon was detected February 3rd in the country airspace above 55,000 feet. It says it followed the object until it left the airspace, adding it did not represent a threat to national security. China has not yet commented publicly on the reported second balloon. And these high-altitude surveillance balloons, or these aircraft filled with helium, they've got solar panels to provide power. Instruments can include cameras, radar, sensors, and communication equipment, and who knows what else it could be carrying. Uh, because uh, somebody from a couple, a couple of days ago, uh, the uh, DOD, a DOD spokesman came out and said it had a, had a heavy payload, whatever that is. And there are those that say, well, look, you know, these things could be carrying anything to uh, per perhaps even give an EMP a uh, strike to take down the power grid of the United States or wherever it's flying over, Canada and the United States. Can you imagine? Now, how high do they fly? A surveillance balloon can fly 120,000 feet. Commercial aircraft uh, airliners go to 40,000 feet. Fighter aircraft go to 65,000 feet. So this goes twice as high as a fighter aircraft. These surveillance balloons uh, from uh, 80,000 feet to 120,000 feet. So uh, this is on BBC, and uh, I'm glad they got it down. But why, why would they take... I, I don't agree what, that, they, that they should have taken that long. Anyway, uh, please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box.